Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here, back with another Hydro Dip video. These are some very cheap shoes that I got from Walmart because until I kind of perfect this, I'm not going to use expensive shoes. I'm going to go ahead and tape off the sides and the entire bottom, you guys. Any part that I don't want to get paint on. Um, these insoles are not removable, but I will be shoving uh, some plastic bags in there and I'm going to tape off this inside rim as well. So here we go. All right. So these are fairly well taped now, completely covered the bottom and pretty much all the sides. Definitely not perfect, but that's okay. This is just another trial. And just as another note, I also pre-washed these shoes to uh, get any chemicals off that were already on there and help the paint stick better. So that's just another note. And now we're going to get started with the actual hydro dipping. All right, so I went ahead and shoved some newspaper and plastic in there. I also did actually go in and tape the inside rim right there. So I'm thinking that should pretty much work. And I'm making these with a specific person in mind. So the colors I'm using today are purple, cranberry, black, and white. These are all Rust-Oleum 2X, and they're all gloss. I don't know if it matters if it's gloss or not. No idea. Using a smaller bucket today, and there is lukewarm water in here, which I have heard helps. So I'm not going to talk during this part because I'm going to be wearing a mask and we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so at this stage, I'm going to let them fully dry, then take all the tape off and take the paper out and everything. And then we'll go ahead and see how they look. All right, guys, we're back. These are not totally dry, but mostly. Um, I took everything out and all the tape off. So stuffing the insides worked really well. There's no paint on the insides. A um, little tiny bit on the, the lip right here, which I could tape better, and I did, seems like a rather poor job taping around the signs, um, but that's okay. Like I said, trial and error. Overall, though, I think these look pretty darn cool. I really like that red color. Uh, this is, I think, the second shoe. Came out a lot more purple, so not super happy with this part. It's a little plain, but I, I'm still very, very happy with these. So I'm going to continue to trial and error with this a little bit more. Um, but I think these came out great and definitely more efficient than the last pair. And I'm happy that I didn't get all that paint inside. <laughs> so Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't see the last video that I did, I'll post a link down in the description um, because on that one, I, I actually wore them and sealed them and all that stuff. So it has a little more information. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.